everybody welcome back to my channel today is another greenhouse video i am finally fixing my broken windows today i'm pretty sure is going to be the last nice day for like the rest of the winter until spring so i've got some plexiglass and i'm just going to kind of show you guys the process of how i'm going to do it this is the current state of my greenhouse my door i had to fix the hinges so i took that off i took this window off right here because it was super broken and then this window I have to fix as well, just this little panel. Now to get this window out, the other window is a lot easier, but this one seems to be really nice and in here. There's like these little tiny metal like fingers that are holding the glass in. So I'm just gonna try to lift those up and scrape away all of this white caulk. And I might have to shatter the window a little bit more, so that's why I put this brown paper underneath it. I think I'm gonna have to shatter this glass. not the safest thing to use but you know what I'm being careful okay so I took out the panels of this window that were broken and this is the plexiglass I got from Lowe's. It was $11 per sheet. And I got two sheets because I wasn't sure how much I'm going to need. And then I also got this plastic cutter. So hopefully that will work. So I'm just going to measure these openings. And it seems that they are just about a foot by eight inches. Now I'm just going to try to kind of see which way I should cut this to make it... Okay, so this is 24 inches, so essentially I can cut this in half and then get hopefully two 8 inch sections. Okay, I think that I scored this really well, so let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you for working properly. All right, so now I just have to cut the panels out of it at eight inches. So here is the space where I need to put this new plexiglass. And I'm just gonna make sure that I clean it out really well so there's no dust or debris so that my plexiglass will stick really nice. Okay, so it fits in there really nice. This one still has a little bit of this lip that I couldn't get off, so that's fine. I'm just gonna stick it under there. 
And I have this two-in-one seal and bond. It's waterproof and flexible. So I think I'm just gonna glue it in. I have to peel off these layers, which is so satisfying. Oh yeah. All right, here goes nothing. All right, and then I think I'm going to add another layer of the seal over on the top. Looks pretty good to me. Here are the three finished window panels. And you guys, I am actually so surprised how well they turned out. Obviously, once it dries, I'm gonna have to paint it and sand it a little bit, but yeah, I am very pleasantly surprised. When taking off the windows, I realized that I never painted under the hinges. So I'm gonna spray paint those little areas really quick because I don't want them to rot because it's not pressure treated wood. And then I think we'll be ready to put the windows and the door back on. I really don't care if it's perfect or not. And here she is, all fixed up. I am so happy with the way these turned out. They look just like real glass. All I have to do is paint them and they're good to go. And they open and they fit in their little frame. And I'm very happy. A few days later and I just wanted to show you guys these because it's been raining for like two days it's currently raining and they are nice and sealed and no water is getting inside so I did a good job really Cut this piece off. thing well since this plastic cutter is very clearly doing nothing and I just wasted a whole entire sheet of $11 plexiglass I'm gonna try my circular saw with the blade flipped the internet is basically telling me I need to make more scores and then bend it over the edge of a table. <laughs> 